Whoa! Ah, get a little fire. That's gonna be a 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 fire. Yeah, but well, these are That's gonna cook right. up really nice. These are gonna cook up. I told you we've been having a hard time. You guys wanna get pizza? <laughs> That Instagram. You take pictures like a dad. <laughs> I, I, I never do it. <laughs> I remember one time my dad got mad at my mom because she was always taking pictures of us the way you couldn't see us, it was too far away. And we're flipping through the picture. He goes, who even takes this picture? And then he gets to the next one, it's a picture of a parking lot. She goes, who took that? And he's like, the reason I took it was. Yes, another this empty hole in his life. Yeah. Guys, dream episode of Something's Burning right now. My guests, two of the best comics in the business ever and ever, Gilbert Godfrey, uh, David Tell. Guys, thank you so much for coming. I Thanks appreciate for this. Us, Bert. No, this is like perfect. Gilbert's the person that taught me about net worth. Do you remember that? What about what? Net worth. I'm, I'm paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> net worth. Net worth? We, we were doing Cowhead's show and I said, Gilbert, how much money do you have? You go, I don't know. <laughs> and yeah. Then, and then we you know, the, you know, Seinfeld and Friends were on net worth. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, net worth. Yeah. That, that worked pretty good. Yeah. I don't know if I can top this one, but, <laughs> you know, Gilbert and I, we're known on the cooking show circuit. Really? As, um, you know, we're pretty, um, I'm just going to say, you know, Bert, you're a funny guy, you're a good guy, but I didn't know that you also were a chef. Oh, yeah. And um, this is scaring the fuck out of me right now. It's okay. I don't know if it's supposed to be popping like that. Yeah, it's easy. I, I like, I I like these pots. Uh, what were they? Um, uh, were you guys cooking meth before I got here? I'm sorry. Yeah, they look. I'm just warming up. <laughs> we should tell you ahead of time we're both vegans. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's why we but look we're curious. So good. But you're we're curious, curious about what you're going to make. I'm making fish and chips. Really? Yeah, yeah. In you... honor of the royal baby. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> For young Archer. Hurrah! Hurrah! <laughs> Fish and chips. <laughs> now wow. we're very strict. There's no gluten in <laughs> that. <any of> <laughs> no, no gluten at all. No, this I is going to be a hard one. We've had a hard time regulating the oil on this show. Uh -huh. So I'm going to do fish and I've chips. I've had that for years. <laughs> yeah, that's a health problem. I can't regulate my oil. <laughs> Gilbert, you grew up in Brooklyn, right? Yes. And we're in Brooklyn right now. Yes. So I know nothing about Brooklyn except what I heard in rap songs and I hear people complaining about. So was this area just all black at one point? <laughs> <laughs> and canceled. <laughs> Come on, Gilbert. Take your hood off and tell us. What was that like out here? <laughs> can, can I just say, keep white blood pure? <laughs> is, that, is that okay to say on the show? I guess since we are eating the, the whitest snack food, fish and chips. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> yeah, so where did you ski around here? <laughs> I mean, I see there's a park. Was it snowmobile friendly or? <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, it was, it was a different neighborhood back then, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess. What neighborhood is this? Uh, Greenpoint? Where would your mother wouldn't let him out of the house? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was, like, what was Brooklyn like back then? Like, I have no, all I know about Brooklyn is it's hipsters and, and then Biggie or Jay-Z. Yeah, yeah, Biggie, I live right next door to me. Yeah. <laughs> Your mom would go, keep it down in there. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> My son's trying to practice his violin. <laughs> and, and me and Snoop Dogg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Used to go to Hebrew school. Do you need any help, Bert? No, or? no, no. Okay, cool. This is, I'm so frustrated with this menu already because I'm- Ah, look at that It's nice. all the stuff Gilbert. I- Gilbert. Uh, yeah, so this is exciting. There you go. <laughs> So wait, what was Brooklyn like? I have no concept of it except for what I see now. Uh, buildings, uh, cars. <laughs> but was it like separated into like ethnicities? Um, well, what neighborhood did you grow up in? He didn't grow up here in Greenpoint. I, born in Coney Island, <laughs> then yeah. Crown Heights, yes. and then Borough Park. Well, I didn't know he was Carney royalty. <laughs> 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 under, the, under the cyclone. I was conceived at the... My dad told me he went out to Coney Island one time and they had a ride where it was on top of a building 
and it was just horses running around the edge of the building. I, I, wow. I was on that. Oh, really? I'm calling my dad right fucking now. That's my dad said it was here. the most terrifying that, thing. That was, that was steeplechase. Yeah, he said yeah, it was the most right. It was steeplechase. They had like wooden horses, like you'd be on a merry-go-round, but they'd be on race tracks. Yeah. And, and it would be on a track and they'd be speeding around. You could see a whole view of Coney Island. And they had a thing that- <laughs> I'm sorry, I just gotta say something. What? Bert's half in the bag drunk <laughs> chopping. I mean, I didn't expect a Benny Hanna presentation, but this is like- <laughs> Honestly, we're doing that in a prison commentary. <laughs> Each chop has to be just so. I'm gonna try. <laughs> oh, look at that. There we but go. They, These are the chippers. They, they had yeah. clowns that would whip people. Oh. And then the, the wind blowing girl skirts up. Really? Wow. Yes, yes. God, my dad talks about that so much. And I remember there was even a chair when you sat down, it opened up and you went down a slide. Really? But where yeah. was the vape shop? <laughs> <laughs> where did you guys charge your phones? Yeah. <laughs> Bert, this is great. Yeah. You know, women find it very romantic and uh, I guess you can say, uh, I think it's a aphrodisiac when a man knows how to cook. Really? Yeah, so is that how you met your lady? No, no. I met her at a bowling alley. Oh, there you go. Well, what were you eating then? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing at the time. I was trying to lose weight. I was 186 pounds. Really? Bait and switch, yeah. Ah, nice. That looked mm. so good, Dave. You have no idea. I was in great shape. I kind of had abs. Really? And then I got her pregnant, gained it all back, and now she's stuck. Wow. Oh. You met her. Yeah, I did. I've been to your house. Yeah. You're her favorite comic. That was, Skanks for the Memories was the album that I played for he, her to find out if I could love her. He's wow. her favorite comic? Oh, That's sad. yeah. Without my wife. Well, tell your wife to go fuck herself. <laughs> <laughs> now it's on. It's competitive. <laughs> <laughs> my wife quotes Skanks for the Memories in conversation. She'll go, boogly, boogly, watch out, get it. Did everyone get it? Just gonna get it. Let's move along. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, How do you have sex with the same voice like that? Have you seen, because Gilbert is definitely one of my favorites. He is oh, definitely Gilbert's, an icon. Gilbert's legend. Gilbert had, I, I believe Gilbert had two careers in my opinion. Yes. You had the career <laughs> where everyone knew you like, oh, this is Gilbert Godfrey. And then all of a sudden you had this resurgence of like my age where they're like, yo, yo, we're discovering great joke writing. Yeah. Like, like more than just Gilbert Godfrey, which was like the brand, you were like an amazing joke writer. You and Emo Phillips is another person. Everyone's like, whoa, these are amazing joke writers. Wow. And yeah, that, and like young comics on the road would be like, have you listened to, you gotta listen to, oh, he's on Stern. You gotta hear Gilbert on Stern. He's fucking amazing. I, I used to do a drinking show, and you and you do a drinking show, but- I thought you were gonna say stole my brand? No, no, no <laughs> please, you can have the brand. <laughs> <laughs> but I was going to say that, like, uh, you know, people still drink in this world of now microdosing and pot and edibles that, like, uh, it seems there still is, like, an alcohol crowd out there. So I find that, yeah. I think that's good. But I think that there's, I mean, it's so funny. It's the thing that drew me to you when I first saw you do stand-up. I was like, because yeah. I, was, I, I was written up as the number one party animal in the country in college by Rolling Stone magazine. And I was like, oh, this is my guy. And then you told a joke. I was in the back of the comedy store. You told a joke. This is hardcore secret time. The joke was uh, a lot of a lot of comics will come up here and talk about how different men and women are, how they're so much different. Well, I think they're similar when they're on fire. Mm. And I, I this is a hardcore secret time. I took my tape recorder that I was had recorded my set with, and I hit record and recorded your set, and I listened to it in bed all night just double over fucking laughing. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's what, you get into comedy for a reason, but then you find the great joke writers and you become in love. Who's your, when you first started, who's your favorite joke writer? Like, who's your like, I wish I could be like that guy. Well, let's see, that's a, oh. Mark Twain, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Buster, Ke Buster Keaton was more of a physical guy. I would say a chapel, of course. <laughs> now, he's from the golden age of, uh, of the comedy. That's why Gilbert's so different. Like, that's yeah. why I, I, I love watching him. And when I did Bumping Mics and Gilbert, uh, 
was on the show with us. Hilarious. It really like brought it to a new level with Jeff, you know, yeah. my buddy Jeff. So. Yeah. Who, by the way, should be here. This is a cooking show. He likes to eat. This would be really a big thing. Yeah, I think Jeff and I are going through some beef right now. You think so? No, no. <laughs> no, I want to go to one of his parties that he has at his house. Yes. <sighs> it's has... really a great house. Dude. Oh, my God. It really is. And the only problem is I'd want my kids to be there. Oh. Because it's like a great pool. Mm -hmm. I don't think he wants. Yeah, nah, it's more of an adult fun place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to soak the starch out of potatoes, oh, and then I'll drain them. It, it's like two hours went by, and you cut a potato. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's just... I'm cutting fish now. I'm going to cut the fish. I'm going to dredge it. I'm going to throw the potatoes in the oil, fry them up, fry up the fish. Easy peasy. Well, did you know we're both kosher? Yeah. So um, <laughs> what kind of smelt are we talking here? <laughs> Wait, what's You remember back in Brooklyn where you go to the smelt dealer? Oh, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we're just kind of in smaller. I just got back from Europe, so all we had was fish and chips. Oh, really? Yeah, if you could move, live in one European city for the rest of your life, Gilbert, what would it be? It would have to be England, because I'm not going to learn how to speak Fuck. another language. I thought language. you were going to say Auschwitz. Yeah, yeah. Damn it. It was right there for you. <laughs> well, I don't know. I figured I'd give him a chance, another chance. <laughs> not a lot of Jews in Germany. Yeah, exactly. Found that out. No, there's one German Jewish comic guy. There's His name's Nervous. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. In Germany, in not Europe. that many. In, in Europe, uh, France, of course, and all that kind of stuff. But uh, all the comics now come to the New York. Like, I always see guys from Norway and uh, France and all these different countries. They're all coming over here now because comedy's so big. Right? Yeah, it really is. It, I mean, we went and did one bar, one show, and then all of a sudden, all these people showed up. It's all their comics. And they're like, yeah, well, we go back and forth to New York all the time. See? Do you remember when going over to Europe meant your career was over? Yeah, that's right. I remember that. You know, can I say it? Like, the only guy I knew who did Europe right was Tom Rhodes. And he lived in Amsterdam. He had a TV show in Amsterdam. He toured all through Europe. And there was a couple of guys that, like, they, that was their tour, which is, yeah. like, Europe and then Asia and stuff and like that. Australia. Yeah, Australia. These places now, now it seems like uh, everybody gets to go, you know? So Yeah. Have you ever been to Europe? Have you ever played over there? Not much. I think I played in London. I did two shows, and I think I I, I just bombed more time. What's you, a bomb? What like what's the worst you've ever bombed? Like worst, where it's like I, with my career, it's like who keeps track? <laughs> <laughs> One bomb is just a warm up for the next. Yeah. Uh, uh, like I heard there's like in Ireland, there's a comedy festival, Australia, yeah. and the oh. Edinburgh Festival. Have you ever done that, Bert? I did. I did Edinburgh with Patrice O'Neill. Wow. And he and I bombed. So aggressive. Oh, I would have loved to have seen that. For one. 29 days in a row. At one point, he went up to these girls, found out they didn't speak English, mm. and lost it, grabbed their passports, and threw it out the door. <laughs> he, <laughs> I was dating a girl with cerebral palsy at the time. And, Stop uh, bragging. <laughs> and Patrice found out she had, I didn't know she had cerebral palsy because we were drinking a lot. And then I, like one day I realized, oh, I think she had cerebral palsy. Patrice picked it out immediately yeah. and was unrelenting. He was good that way. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, that's the big festival, Gilbert, the Edinburgh thing. That is like, also, it's the Olympics of drinking. Those guys really know how to drink over there. So, you know, got to bring your A game. Yeah. Do you ever think about going back to drinking? No, nah, not yet. I, I think, um, you know, my chain smoking kind of makes up for it. That's what how I'm much do you smoke? Probably two packs a day. For real? Yeah. But you don't finish the whole cigarette, do you? What? What are you, like the world's worst doctor? I'm okay, yeah. <laughs> you don't smoke the whole cigarette. You don't finish All the, the bad stuff's at the other end. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I kind of like nervously light and throw. You yeah. Know? Uh, you don't smoke cigarettes, right? You're a cigar guy. I'm a cigar guy. I like weed. Do you smoke weed? No, nah, I yeah. don't. Do you, Gilbert, you, do I, you ever smoke pot? I like crystal meth. <laughs> <laughs> that explains that haircut. <laughs> Did you do coke back in the day? This guy. <laughs> I think I've, I've done it about five times. Really? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, set the scene. Okay. Let's do our favorite, well, our favorite Coke up. story. Our favorite Coke I'll story. I'll set it up. Yeah. He didn't buy it. <laughs> yeah. A little tie with a coin. <laughs> with a coin. Here's something you'll never hear. Hey, um, um, anybody want me to buy some Coke for everybody? <laughs> My name's Gilbert. He's not going to do that. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> oh. And back then, there was grass all over the place. Yeah. Right. Pot, you mean? Yeah. Okay, Good. Okay, yeah. All right. I never know what's the current term for it. Yeah. Some uh, people say weed. Product. 
Yeah. Product. Product. Okay. Smoke. <laughs> Smoke. Mary Jane. And what I found out, if I took one puff, I'd feel incredibly happy. And then I'd go, what am I so happy about? And then it would it would be a deluge of everything wrong with my life. Really? So you get all like paranoid and nervous. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was back in, because uh, he, he actually played at all the original, original clubs, like the uh, original improv. Wait, which, in, in New York? Yeah, original yeah, Which is now a Don Giovanni, star. by the way. So, Don Giovanni. Yeah, what still hilarious. <laughs> still hard to get in. But uh, he, was, he was there with the original, the guy, Seinfeld yeah. and all those guys, right? Really? Yeah, Riser. Paul oh, Riser. Nice. What do you think of him? Paul Riser is an amazing pianist, right? He, um, he's got an amazing penis. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. I've blown Paul Riser in a, in several a, times. He's hope, a, that was the grass. Hoping to get on mad about you. <laughs> I blew Paul Riser. And uh, he's got an amazing penis. <laughs> he, uh, what you call it? Uh, 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 Robert Klein, all those guys. Oh you know yeah, those guys? he. I, These are like the, uh, the like beyond. I know this. The when I first like... started going to Catch a Rising Star, a uh, Gabe Kaplan was still wow. like a comic. Mr. Thing. Cotter, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Did, uh, that's where I met Dave. Was at the Catch a Rising Star. That's the first time I ever met you. you met, did, uh, I must have been in a full tilt whiskey nope. bench. Uh, I, 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 my, my uncle had gone to school with Kevin Brennan. And Kevin. So he's, yeah, and so he he's said, my oldest friend in Arch Enemy and Comedy. Yeah. I love Kevin. <laughs> he goes, uh, listen, when you get to New York, look up Kevin Brennan and then tell him your uh, cousins of the Hobsons and he'll take care of you. So I met Kevin at Catch a Rising Star the night it was closing. Mm -hmm. And I said, hey, I'm Burke Chrysler. I'm, on, I'm with David Hobson. Um, I'm just looking for any advice if you have. And you, he said, here, sit down next to this guy. He'll tell you everything you need to know. And it was you, <laughs> and you're at the bar. And I said, hey, I'm Bert. You said, I'm Dave. And I said, what, what, give me some advice for comedy. And you said, quit while you're ahead. <laughs> Are dead? I'm sorry. <laughs> and by the way, and then, then you gave me the best advice ever. I did? The, when I worked with you in, right when Georgia was born, probably thir 14 years ago in Miami. Oh, right. This is my, this is my, my David Tell story that I tell everyone. Okay. Uh, I wanted to crush in front of Dave, right? Sold out audiences, fucking packed, drinking. It's called gunning the headliner. For those of you who want to know what it really is. Yeah. Yeah. So I wanted to throw him down and then laugh at him at the merch table. I right. wanted Dave to say I was funny. That was my goal, right? Mm -hmm. So I go up Thursday, I do my 20 minute set or whatever, tight, kill. Dave gets up. I go up, Dave goes, How were they? I said, Good. He goes, Good. Goes on. Friday, I go, Oh, you didn't see me. I'll go harder. I do the exact same set, identical, even a little tighter, punched up a little bit. Get off stage and Dave goes, uh, how were they? I said, good. He goes, okay. Gets on stage. I'm like, fuck. So late show Friday, I do it even tighter and tighter. I get off stage in that old green room in Miami and you go, I get it. You're funny. How about doing a fucking new joke? <laughs> <laughs> and I went, really? And you're <laughs> the secret sauce. This is how you make it. Oh, the there's nothing better than putting a German beer in an English food. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Brexit. it. <laughs> Look at that. Nine. Nine, das is good. Yeah, I wonder if this is gonna work out the way I think it is. Yeah, it really looks more Does like it matter that there's no alcohol in I there? I don't know how you turn fish and chips into oatmeal, but you did it. <laughs> <laughs> you're married, right? Yeah. But you cook like you're divorced. I mean, look at that. <laughs> Maybe if I just get a job, she'll take me back. <laughs> when you're on the road, do you cook at all? No. You don't take that hot plate and just go oh, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the saddest thing in the hotel room where you're like, oh, they got a hot plate in here. Uh-oh. All right. Oh, yeah. Someone's going to have to try and make a grilled cheese sandwich this week. All this show's made on a fucking hot plate. Look at that. I don't Boom. think this is turning out the way I want it. Oh, my to. God. Careful of your talking points. <laughs> no, that's the ingredients. <laughs> oh, it looks good. You're battering it up. Battery. All right, easy. All right. Work Can I sell us on eBay? <laughs> yeah. Work the spoon. What, what shows have you pitched that people passed on, Gilbert? Um, uh, Gilbert Gottfried live at Dachau. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on a show myself, too. What's your, what show are you working on? I'm working on a new show. It's called um, Celebrity Hospice. And it's about um, people when their careers die before they do. And we let them go out with a little dignity before they have to get a real job. Oh, nice. There you go. You guys I play myself. <laughs> Celebrity Oscar. Yeah. Even the helper dog had a career, and it's like, I'm sorry it's over. <laughs> what, jokes, what jokes did you write today? 
What did I write today? Yeah, you always have something new. You know, it's the, the beauty of it is like the more you go out, the more there's like stuff to joke about. Yeah. And that's the problem is like, you know, when you're old, it's all about running errands. And yeah. uh, this is great. So I'm definitely coming up with a fish and chip joke. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Well, oh, yeah, you better check that temperature. Yeah. I think it should be. Here we go. I've never seen a guy winded from stirring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Three, no, this is too hot. This is too hot. Oh, there you it. go. Yeah, we got to drop it. It's really hard to get there. Oh, it's 418, 430, 433. Well, what do we put an ice cube in there? Probably not, right? This is great. You cook indoors like we're camping. What's that? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm throwing some lines. <sighs> nice. That's an aggressive. All right, we just put these in here like this. Just you batter them. them. Just put them in. We'll just let them sit in there. Yeah, we'll just put them all in at once. Okay. What advice would you give to a to a 12-year-old girl, Dave? Me? I'm not even allowed to be within 500 feet. <laughs> I don't know. I think um, they said it best in the new movie, Shazam. Um, <laughs> that movie kind of fell flat, you know, when he turned into a man. But I'll tell you, I think Aquaman said it best. And I don't know. I mean, I, I give you guys credit having families going on the road all the time. Do you ever take the kids on the road with you? Oh, no. Like, what, you don't want to see Bethlehem, Pennsylvania? <laughs> Come on, let's all go to Dayton, Ohio. Uh, my daughters had a tour bus this year, and my daughters wanted to see, wanted to go on the tour bus. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, bad idea. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, that's that's cool. I was. And um, Gilbert has a really normal life. People don't think it. Have you seen his documentary? No, I, everyone's just talking about that. What's yeah. your documentary, it's Gilbert? It's called Gilbert. Yes, yeah, yeah. Gilbert. And it, it, I think it's still on Hulu. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, watch it tonight. Whoa! Ah, Get that's, a little gonna a fire. that's gonna be a fire. That's Jeez. gonna be a fire. That's gonna be a fire. Okay. Oh, nice. God. That was exciting. Yeah, not too bad, right, guys? Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. But now the fire's off. Yeah, but well, these are gonna that's cook all right. up really nice. These are gonna cook up. I told you we've been having a hard time. You guys wanna get pizza? <laughs> <laughs> we we've been having a hard time with this fucking. Well, we could have just lit the whole house on fire. What are you looking for, Dave? I'm looking for a way out of the show. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got it. Easy. No, 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 I turned it off. I turned it off. I turned it off. It wasn't off totally. That was good. So... Wow, that really got everyone's attention. That yeah. was, that's, that's what I call a cliffhanger. We should go back. <laughs> Should yeah. we? That, All right. That's what I call one second of the show worth watching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know how these fries are going to turn out, but they should be perfect. <laughs> if they say to twice fry them, Gilbert. I don't believe in that. We go once fry and we're done. This is great. Yeah, it's still boiling and the flames off. What's the name of the show again? Something's burning. I thought it was three alarm fire. <laughs> <laughs> Something's burning. Third degree it burns. Sure is. <laughs> This is, it, this is that was, great. That was a close call, huh, guys? I like to look in the oil and see my future. <laughs> <laughs> do you do your own laundry, Dave? Uh, that's an insult. <laughs> 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 um, you know what? When I'm on the road and I stay in a hotel that has a laundry, because yeah. back in the day when I was like you, you know, drinking and partying and stuff like that, it was like laundry was the least. Now it's like, there's a laundry here. Ooh, maybe I'll do little things <laughs> late at night, sadly, in the laundry. <laughs> Wait, this, I love asking the front desk for um, quarters. Isn't that the best? Oh, like, yeah. Like, uh, how many quarters do you need? Like, for a soda? No, like, for laundry. They're like, oh, we got a sad sack of shit. <laughs> 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 but, um, yeah. Can I talk about the best hotel I ever stayed in? Yeah. Okay, um, in Boise, Idaho. It was the Eidenhow Hotel. Haunted. A haunted hotel. Have you ever stayed in a haunted hotel? Uh, the one in Austin. Yes. There's one in Austin. That's right. Yeah. Now, since you are a, an apparition or a ghost, <laughs> have you ever stayed in a... <laughs> As a representative of the Illuminati, which hotels... No, have you ever stayed in a haunted hotel? Uh, no. Would that, would that bother you, or would you find that like, oh, this is cool? Yeah, I'd have someone to talk to there. <laughs> <laughs> so did you have someone in, it was it in the room or in the no. hall? Or so we the, get there. It's in the, the elevator. I know in the elevator in Austin. Is we bad. got there and the guy, we were drunk and we had a 12 pack. And the guy was like, we were like, I heard this place is haunted. And he goes, you want to go on a tour? It's like three in the morning. Yeah. And we're like, yeah. And he took us everywhere. Mm -hmm. he took us everywhere and then would turn the lights out and let us get weird. It was one of the... Crazy, one of the, right? We went to Alcatraz. 
and they yeah that's haunted yeah ooh, we went at night when no one was there and uh, this is when I worked on Travel Channel, and they put me in solitary confinement, locked the door, and shut it. Wow. And pitch black, and I was, oh, I freaked the fuck out. Wow. But I'm, I'm easy to spook. I'm easy, I'm like the intelligence level of Hollywood writes movies for, right? Like, that's my brain level. Yeah. The Austin one, since you brought it up, is uh, they have that elevator there where supposedly you're riding down with a ghost, and it's always the same ghost story of the, you know, unrequited love or whatever that is where like you know was left at the altar and yeah. hung themselves all those kind of things so but anyway it's like something like there's a cowboy in the elevator and he messes with people and you know i go how do you know and it's like they start <laughs> all the buttons start going and then that happened to me and Are i was serious? like and it happened to me and i was at first scared and then it kept going and then i was like all right i have to get to the gig <laughs> you know it's like i'm scared <laughs> i gotta take a shit what are we doing all right what do i do with this oil rachel what do I do with this oil? Do I just move it over to the other burner? Where do you put it on the electric one? The <coughs> okay, that sounds like a great idea. All right, we're switching over here, guys. Here we go. The fries are... <laughs> not really done yet. That's good, not though. Really no. done. Dave, I need you to do me a favor. Yeah, what do you want me to do? I want to do something. We're going to tag team this. I just need you to wipe the bottom of the pot off as I lift it up in the air. We got it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this could be really hot. <laughs> it's going to be really hot. <laughs> All right. All right, we're good? Yeah. All right, we're good. And now we're over here. Perfect. Now this happens all... This is like when you're high with a friend and you want to make candles. <laughs> <laughs> are, we, are we dying Easter eggs? What's going on here? <laughs> These are our fries. They look phenomenal. Don't try them yet. I know you don't no, want to. No, no. Him? No Ouch. way. Look at that. <laughs> now we're going to fry the battered fish, Gilbert. There you go. Now, so these are the fries that you... They're done, you think? Let me see. Ooh. Don't eat it? It doesn't... <laughs> has it, you want ketchup with it? Maybe that'll make it better. Mm. It's unloved. <laughs> 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 the fish is going to be much better. The fish is going to save the meal, in my opinion. You think so? Yeah, yeah I think you guys are going to be really surprised at this fish. Well, you know, we're pretty particular with our fish. I'm pretty surprised at fish. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Gilbert, do you want to make the tartar sauce for us? Does oh, he? Christ. Okay, here we go. Look at Super all that. Super easy. Is this... Now, what's your favorite road lube? My uh, oh, <laughs> Sorry, that's... the mayonnaise just made me uh, think of it. Have you ever jerked off with mayonnaise? No. I have. You did? Uh-huh. One percenter. One percenter. <laughs> I saw it in a sex documentary, like a sex documentary about uh, a sex therapist. <clears throat> she said, oh, you can use mayonnaise or olive oil. I've used olive oil a few times. There you go. But uh, mayonnaise yeah. is a special occasion, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, for Gilbert, it's... For the ultimate cheat day. <laughs> <laughs> for Gilbert, it's tears. <laughs> go ahead. It's all right. These are, are all we... jokes. Are you ready, Gilbert? Yes. Yeah. Just eyeball this. Here, pass me a spoon in there, Dave. Three tablespoons mayonnaise. Three teaspoons sweet pickle relish. Three teaspoons? Three tablespoons mayonnaise. Hey, Just eyeball it. Yeah. That's Easy. Okay. There we go. Nice. All right. Perfect. Yeah. Two teaspoons sweet pickle relish. Mm, you remember sweet pickle relish, <laughs> jazz man. <laughs> Uh, three? <laughs> that's good. I think that's good right there. Oh, yep. Oh that would be perfect. God. Uh, <laughs> a tablespoon <laughs> capers. Cape? Oh, capers. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Whoa, help him. He's going to shit his pants. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week. <laughs> you want me to help you, madam, or no? I can't. I can't. Please, not be able to open it. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I got taped. I got taped. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Da, 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 ba, ba, ga, ga, go, Here, 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 here. Here we go. That, that's good for that. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. We got a teaspoon sugar and a teaspoon Dijon mustard. Mm. Oh, where's, where's the, the sugar? Oh, it's I got the sugar right here. Boom! Perfect. You gotta make noises when you do that. Oh, and that yeah, get, help me with help me with some great uh get great like catchphrases when I add ingredients. All here right, we go. Okay, I'll, yeah, put them in and I'll put it in. Oh, mustard. here we go. 
Yeah. Now, I'm, now, talking, now I'm in it. Now I'm having trouble. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is like an ARP commercial. Are you all right? <laughs> Here. <laughs> Uh, that's not your fault. I had the wind with me. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys got to take the the uh, plastic off. There you go. There you now, go. All right. How What's much good? mustard? Just to uh, eyeball it. Use the same spoon, though, for everyone. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, cross yeah. We should have at least one extra spoon. Here, 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 here. here, give him a good catchphrase when he adds it in. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Dude. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Collusion. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> <laughs> now That's obstruct perfect. the uh, capers yeah. with the. That's perfect. This is our tartar sauce. Tar tar. <laughs> tar tar. tar. <laughs> this actually smells like tartar sauce. Yeah. Really. Honestly. You taste it and tell me what you think. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Frying fish. Boom. But there we go. Boom. No, well, that's not right. Okay, ready? Yep. Do 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 do. Ah. You gotta turn it on though. That's not good. <laughs> that's not good. That's just God. taking a bath. Well, that's really low. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we should do is just take our pants off. <laughs> <laughs> It's tradition to go to your school's homecoming football game. But is it tradition for all your professors to assign group projects the same week? Get everything you need for your tailgate without the trip to the store with DoorDash. God, I love DoorDash. You know, when I was a kid, I remember someone pitching me DoorDash, like when we when the internet first started, and I was like, you're telling me that I'll just order my groceries online, that I'll get my food online? Yeah, and it's amazing. Get the back-to-school savings you really want and get unlimited free DoorDash delivery with the Dash Pass, just $4.99 a month for students. How worth it? How worth it? So worth it. With $0 delivery fees, exclusive items, and more than 25,000 member-only offers nationwide, Dash Pass by DoorDash has everything you need to make this semester memorable. And you can even save more with an annual membership, less than $50 a year for unlimited $0 delivery fees. I am getting that for Georgia May Kreischer. I'm getting this for my daughter, Georgia Kreischer. Might as well get it for all her fucking roommates too. Cause you know, they're never going to be out, like, I'm getting that for my daughter. This is brilliant for a limited time. You'll get 50% off up to $10 on your next order of $15 or more. When you sign up for Dash Pass student plan and enter code BURNING, I'm doing this. That's 50% off, up to $10 on your next order of $15 or more when you sign up for Dash Pass student plan when you enter the code BURNING. Don't forget, that's code BURNING for 50% off when you sign up for the Dash Pass student plan. Subjects to change, terms apply. Look at that oh. fish frying up. <laughs> yes. Really slow. Well, let's just try to... <laughs> And you caught those right there in the pond in the park? <laughs> Fort Greene. <laughs> the show's picking up now. I know. Yeah. I'll work on dessert. Okay. I'll make my classic lemon meringue pie. <laughs> <laughs> my two lemon tart. <laughs> oh. I'll make my classic... Okay. That's just slow, huh? Yeah, it really is. This would be the time for a close-up. This is going to be filled with grease. There we go. Mm. I hear it. <laughs> We've always had a problem with it. <laughs> it's all right. Where did my beer go? Yeah. Got any good fish jokes? Yes. <laughs> Let's talk about fishing. <laughs> Oh, I cornered the market. No. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm with a buddy, and we go fishing. And I'm from Long Island, you know, so you have to be a fisherman at some point or a house painter. And um, we caught um, a steelhead uh, trout, and uh, they eat everything, you know that, right? So we cut them open, and guess what comes out? What? An entire pair of boys' underwear. <laughs> now, now you're listening, right? Yeah. So I said, <laughs> I said, if that came out of me, I'd have to go to jail. Yeah. So, <laughs> sorry, nothing? All right. 
Go ahead, fish jokes. Oh. Ah. You met Ava Goda, the yeah. original fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're doing it good. It's looking good, Bert. Yeah, it's just not browning there at you all. Go. Hey, whatever you do, make it sure it's one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was just a tad bit hotter. <laughs> I wonder if I could double dutch it. Halves and halves, you think? I don't know. We could always go back Does to it, this. Do we have any safety goggles here? Or, I mean, no offense, <laughs> but... <laughs> if you could see one operation in person, what would it be? Gee, one that, operation? It, that, that's one of those, like, <laughs> I've been asking myself for years now. <laughs> that's you, not an easy one to come up with an answer for. There's a lot of uh, medical shows now. Do you watch this guy, The Toe Bro? No. He, uh, you know, like if you have a hangnail or something like that on your toe. Uh, he really, it's it's really disgusting, but it's it's fascinating to watch. Yeah. Yeah. I watch, I watch uh, wax extractions out of ears. Oh, really? Like hours upon hours of it. You have a lot of downtime. Yeah, dude, I I get caught up in the internet and I get lost in a hole. I get obsessed with this uh, this flash flood chaser. He would get <laughs> <laughs> he would get in front of flash floods. Yeah. And they were coming in and he'd get in front of them and then he'd run with them as they can't. He would literally be like, all right, we're here. The flood should be here in about 15 minutes. I see the storm. It's coming our way. And then all of a sudden, 15 minutes later. All this debris is running, and he's running in front of it, and then jumping and double backing. Oh my God, I was. It's like a running with the bulls, yeah. but with floods. With, with flash floods. That's how I would have pitched it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> running. I got obsessed also with the guy who was uh, who was going into these sinkholes in Florida. Yeah. And going in and. And it was like all covered in muck, and he would go in and search for treasure in there. Yes. Oh. I love that. What was one job? What was one job that you could. Fantasy job. Fantasy job, not comic. Fantasy job. What would be one of your fantasy jobs? I don't know. Like like treasure yeah, hunter. I what? Treasure hunter, detective. Yeah, that that's all <laughs> stuff that sounds like yeah. it would be. Like a detective, you'd probably be like looking at stuff on your computer. Yeah. Looking up information. That it's you know, it's, it's not like, you know, a blonde in one arm and a gun in the other. Yeah. Well, thanks for talking us out of it, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Any other dreams you want to kill and throw in the pot? <laughs> oh, this is starting to cook for real now, Dave. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, look at this. It's really frying up great. That is awesome. We're at 288. That's I've, never only... seen, I've never seen a tire pressure gauge thing used as a temperature. <laughs> <laughs> so what jobs did you have before you were a comic? I worked at Barnes & Noble mm -hmm. on Astor Place. There's no books. You did? Yeah. There was no air conditioning in there. You want to hear a crazy story? I see you working at every kiosk in New Jersey. Like, <laughs> you want some very high-end popcorn? Anybody? <laughs> I worked at that Astor place. There's no, air in, there's no air in there. It was right when I started comedy. And so if you took the freight elevator down to the basement, no one could come in on you. So I would go down there, and I would work out. I'd, like, do push-ups, sit-ups. Take the Bible, do forearm raises. I was wow. trying to lose weight. I was taking, you ever take diet fuel? It's like speed. Right. And so uh, I do, I'm doing that for a bunch. I'm getting my, taking my clothes off because I don't want to sweat. So yeah. I'm taking my clothes off, putting them back on. And then one day my manager, Dwayne, pulls me aside and he's like, hey man, you're spending a lot of time in the basement. I said, well, you know, it's where I got to get books and put them in. And he goes, uh, yeah, we have video cameras. And I was like, what? He's like, Revenge you, porn. He's like you're fired. Really? Yeah, he fired me for working out in the basement. You should have fucking snapped his neck. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were working out for the Barnes & Noble punch-up. Don't they have their own boxing team? <laughs> <laughs> he asked me if I wanted to be a manager, and I was like, no. Who wants to do that? And he was like, I do that. This is actually looking fucking great right it now. Is. It is? You really yeah, get it. it is. It is. You what know? was the last book you read? Me? Yeah. Shit, I don't know. I read the um, Farmer's Almanac. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for the harvest. I want to know yeah. when to sow and reap and all that stuff. So, uh, Gilbert... Gilbert and I are excited for the fish and chips. It's gonna be. It's yeah. I this, think, this I think is it's gonna just excited. <laughs> this is. I think it's gonna surprise you, Gilbert. I think right now we're really cooking. Is it as good as a cigarette? You think? It's not. <laughs> Whoa! You're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I, I almost think it's done. I'm not certain. I wish I had a better idea. Should we put in another one? Yeah. Yeah. You're supposed to put in a couple of them. I know, but we got going so well right now. I want to take this. I don't lower the temperature. Fuck. Fuck. So I think this one's done. We're going to drop in two. I think this one's done. You can I, eat this fish raw, right? Looks, I don't know. Looks kind of disgusting. I'm not a fish guy. I really don't know much about it. 
Yes. I think that looks great. Let's go twosies. You ready? Yeah, well, use your hands for God's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Wow, fuck. Once again, it just goes slow. Yeah, I think you need to um, turn it up now. I can't turn it up. I turned the fuck. I turned this into a shit show over here. That was all right. Now this this is coated. Yeah, it's coated. I'm gonna give it a few better. more minutes. You think? Yeah. At yeah. Denny's, that's called. A, can you give it a few more minutes? We'll yes. go back in on it. We'll go back in on it. Hey, you know, um, it's really good that like the fries are all cold now, but <laughs> it's great. <laughs> and the spin into the <laughs> it's fine. Spin on everything. Right. Right. <laughs> this is this is Brooklyn. No one's vaccinated here. Everybody's, <laughs> everybody's all right. <laughs> Oh. So let's go through um, the drawers while we're here. <laughs> Anything interesting? Not really. Oh, some flashlights. One's on already. Any identification? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see your chef license. Yeah, oh. I'll put some heat on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really crank it up. <laughs> do you do spots in the city at all anymore, Gilbert? Uh, not that much. Like, if you do spots, like, it's just when you go out to yeah, the Yeah, yeah, like, well, um, when I'm... When I'm doing Caroline, so Yo. Hey. Way to throw that in our face. <laughs> <laughs> if you could do a tour with any three comedians, oh boy, who, what three comedians would you love to go on tour with? You got, but here's the caveat: you're out on the road. You don't go home. You go do 30 days straight. Wow, that's a lot of flannel shirts that don't fit. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get? You know, look, this man's starving. Look at him. He yes. Going, <laughs> full to land. This guy's a skeleton. <laughs> Um, if you could go out in the road with any comics, who would it be? That's a good question. Oh, do they have to be living? No. Or how about another act? It could be like a musician or something like that, a magician. And then we're doing top five Jewish people after that. <laughs> okay. That's good. You see how much nicer that is that now? That looks so much better than that we went yeah, back see, in. Yes. Looks... These are looking really good. See, here's the difference between what we did and where we are. The, before it was pale and much like the people who invented the food. Pale, very uh, cold. Now it's got a nice little bit of a uh, mix to it there. You know what I'm saying? It's looking good. I yeah. like the look of it. Do you think it's done? I think that one's done, yeah. And then this one's looking good too. See, look at that. That's that beautiful. looks fucking beautiful. It looks just like my kidney. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> See, I'd still be scared to eat that. No, no you won't be scared. We'll be with you. We'll be getting yeah. sick with you. But let's see. So, Gilbert, you go on the road. Who would you go with? Oh. Ah, uh, let's see. <laughs> I have no idea. Dead. No. Let's, you have to, they have to be dead. They have to be dead. dead. Yeah. Could I just bring out some live comics now and kill them? <laughs> <laughs> that would be even better. Okay. Top five yeah. comics you yeah. want to kill. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you rather, Tony Orlando or Dawn? <laughs> <laughs> Who would you rather? Wait, did you, 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 this is going to be a horrible question. You never, you weren't alive when Freddie Prince was alive, right? Were you? I was, wasn't what? When, when Freddie Prince was alive? Yeah, he was. Uh, yes, yes. He said, he said, I'll be right back. Can you hold my gun? <laughs> <laughs> was he funny? Uh, I, I saw, in fact, I saw Freddie Prince a handful of times at Catch. Really? No, yeah. Wow. Was he good or was he like just kind of one of those guys that you're like, oh, he just wants to be a sitcom? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but maybe I'd like to travel travel around with Jack Albertson. <laughs> Jack Albertson? Yeah, he was he was the man. Yeah, Chico and, and the man. Oh, Chico, oh he was the man, man and Chico and the man. Yeah. <clears throat> Shut up. What about uh, Red Red Fox? You ever see Red Fox live? I never saw him live. No. He, he died in the eighties. Who's the, who are the comics that you saw live that you're glad you got saw when they were alive? Well, Bill Hicks, of course. You saw Bill Hicks? Yeah, Did Gilbert. You work with him? Um, what? Did you ever work with him? He, he yeah, saw, I, I he saw, saw him me at the while club. I was alive. <laughs> you, oh, you saw Gilbert? <laughs> Shut up. No, Bill Hicks was one. Um, a couple of. I saw Carlin live too, but Bill Hicks was really like the one who, like, when I was, you know, you know, people don't realize that he's been dead almost like 25 years. You know, it's a long time ago. Yeah. And of course, all the other guys, Geraldo and Mitch Hedberg, those were the guys that I knew. And as they were great. I would work with them all the time. So Geraldo. now, you know, people just know them from like, like Duralo, especially the roast. He was such a strong, funny guy, super smart. And Hedberg, you know, like his influence is like all over the place now. You toured legit with Hedberg. Yeah. 
Like he was one of your close friends. Awesome. So yeah. Craig, right? Yeah, no, we really, we, we hit it hard. We could have used the wingman there. You would have, you would have really Dave, loved that Dave, scene. Dave, 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 you have no idea. That is my, like one of the things in life I was like, I would have been like a dream. My time travel, one of the time travels I go back to is one night with you, Geraldo, and Hedberg. Yeah. Oh. It was a crazy time. That was crazy. Do you have any good, like, do you have any good, like, like, well, Hedberg's shareable? the best. Hedberg is the best because, you know, but before he got into the harder stuff, he was really like, you know, you're almost like, who is this guy so soft spoken and stuff like that? But he really had a rock star, I guess you could say, uh, demeanor because yeah. it was like anything, you know, like he was like hallucinogenics and all that kind of stuff. But he always had that notebook. And I was always like, you know, you should write in that notebook, don't do mushrooms. You know, like I was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was like what else is in that notebook? But it was like all this like little like hieroglyphic stuff and like, yeah. you know, math, you know, weird diagrams stuff. And I was like, it's amazing. Like, this is the guy who was like, you know, dropping ecstasy and now he's like scribbling away like that. So his work ethic was, people don't bring that up, but he really was always working on his act. Hint. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, but you just there. Oh, God. Oh, I'm, I'm working on my Richard Whitmark imitation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where are the great uh, impersonators now? That no, they, it's a yeah, show. Yeah, change the tape. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. No, yeah, really. no, it it that two things you don't find unless you go to Vegas. Yeah, are uh, impressionist and ventriloquist. Yeah, and no, both of them used to be on the air all the time. We have Frank Caliendo. Jay Moore is amazing. Yeah, he's Jay great. Moore. Is I like, know Jay really well. Jay's yeah, a buddy yeah. You've known Jay forever. Yeah, we shared an office at SNL. Yeah, we it, it used to be uh, Frank Gorshin, Rich Little, George Kirby, Will Jordan, uh, Marilyn Michaels, uh, Fred Travelina. Those were the impressions. The impressions. Rich Little was mind blowing. Yeah. Like well, when I was a kid, you'd hear that. So wait, why do you think that went away? Why do you think impressionists? Because I tell you what I think is happening coming back is characters. I think people are going on stage as characters, like right. Larry the Cable Guy, because political correctness has shunned everyone into not wanting to say what they think. So, you can so do if, you, if you do a character, no one can say anything. It's a character. I understand. You know? But he's right about that whole... Uh... Nobody does that stuff anymore, and uh, hypnotist, that's done. Oh, yes, yes. Oh. Yeah. And I remember it's like impressionists all would do the thing, like they go, and, you know, imagine if your waiter was Jack Nicholson, it <laughs> might go something <laughs> like, like this. this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, wanted to be doing, I wanted to be able to do impressions so bad when I started. Because everyone had like one impression they could throw in. This is my impression of. A, yeah. Uh, tell me if you know the comic. This is my impression of an Italian eye doctor. You looking at me? <laughs> DC <Batman. laughs> they always just killed. Did you ever play like governors and? Uh, yeah, I played and, governors recently. Yeah. Like, oh really? Uh, my dad grew up in Levittown. Okay, well that was like a historic club, and they used to have Bob Nelson and all those guys who would do. Basically, classic stuff, you know, like pantomime and, you know, they play a tape and all that kind of stuff. Well, you could, that stuff day, is gone, too. You, you could buy stuff. an act as a, as a ventro, uh, not a ventriloquist, as a, um, <laughs> you could buy an act as a hypnotist. You could buy your act. Really? Yeah. There was a guy. Here, we can try it right now. Like, this is going to be tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. This but with this show, would be so much better if we were ventriloquists with our puppets. Like, is it ready? Oh, shut up. Give him some time. Wait, help me fix this joke, okay? Okay. Uh, I want to do a joke about uh, creating a... Uh, let me wash my hands. Uh, is it hard to be a chef and with OCD? You keep washing your hands. Yeah, I do have OCD. Can you tell I have OCD? No, I don't. I definitely have fucking OCD. I de what, what, uh, and do you have any, you guys any, have any crazy in you? What? Oh, no, I'm We're totally like a full tilt. <laughs> <laughs> full tilt seminar of uh, bad uh, choices. I've been wanting, to, go ahead. So I've been wanting to do a joke about, uh, about wipe puppets, where instead of getting toilet paper, you put your hand into a white puppet, and it's a, it makes wiping more fun. So it's a puppet that's like, oh, Bert. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> oh, this looks like a white. Where, where are you taking me? Oh, no, not that. Not. Well, I went past it. That's not going to be. Oh, I hit. Oh, that's not. See, my problem is, I like, I don't know. I have a fucking lot of problems. You're all right. How many people, how many people did you find sounded like you 
uh, when you started to pop, that you'd go into clubs and see people do it? Because you're so distinct. Both of you are so distinct in cadence and delivery. How many times did you, and so and same with Mitch. Yeah. Is that like people just take your cadence? I know Tom and I took yours no, that's, to the fuck. Like, <laughs> Mitch like, is the one who I really, when, when Mitch really, uh, when he popped, you know, like after his first or second Letterman, then I started seeing a couple of comics, but then it was almost like the next generation who had listened to his tapes. Yeah. You could just feel it in them. And I was, and I always would call him out on him. And I'd be like, uh, Mitch, you're doing Mitch Hedberg. Yeah. I would say that to him because you know, well, I think I was protective of him. Yeah. There was a club. I think it's still there that uh, Jerry Seinfeld used to work at all the mm -hmm. time. And everybody at that club sounded like Jerry Seinfeld. And it's like, you would stand outside, you'd stand the bar, and it would be a muffled sound of comics. You, know, you couldn't make out what they were saying. And all of that, every, no matter what comic, it would be like, <laughs> What's the one thing you miss about drinking, Dave? Me? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I, I guess the whole idea of like, being sober is like you're present all the time. Like, um, I mean, this is a great time, but I feel every minute of it. You do. But uh, I was going to say <laughs> that uh, <laughs> when you're drinking, like, you kind of like you're not there, but you're there. That's cool. Like, I like that. And I always love the um, the buzz in the morning. Like, where you, like, everybody's going to work. I was like, look at these suckers. You yeah. Know? Here, I, I'm a comic. I get to, like, sleep all day. And then you, like, realize there's vomit all over you. You know, oh. like, where's my wallet? You know? But it was, that was always, that was always fun. That, like, that, like, buzz, like, 7 a.m. buzz. I like that. Yeah, the and then we go full skies, still hanger. The electric blue skies in New York. Oh like yeah, when you're walking home from it, it's like whoa, God, it's so bright. And you see the person jogging, you're like sucker. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Sucker. Do you but, work out, Gilbert? Why? Does Do you he look out? at him? Oh yeah, go ahead, punch me as hard as you want. Whoa, this one's. I think we're. I think after this one, we'll be able to try. Sure. Rice. I'm gonna smoke a cigarette though. Okay, you go out the front door. Go out the front door. No, I'm afraid I might get um, into a better show. <laughs> I'm just going to go out the front door. I'm going to go out the front door, get in a cab, and go do the view. I'll be right back. Gilbert, if I miss anything. <laughs> All right. You ready, Gilbert? See, this is where the drugs are acting up. I thought someone was here before. <laughs> and uh, I'm just seeing people appear and disappear. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about David Hill? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm glad he's gone. <laughs> I hope he fell down the stairs in front of the building and broke his neck and died. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah. Norm MacDonald had a ton of jokes that would just destroy me. I tried to write, I literally this last special, this next special I'm doing, I tried to write like a man walks into a bar joke. Yeah. Because I was like obsessed with that. Uh oh, here he comes. Ah. Norm is a great comic. Norm is so fucking great. Yeah. That moth joke is classic, classic. Gilbert's a great joke writer too. He's got some really oh. classics. No, he really does. Yeah. I, I What's really your favorite Gilbert joke? Well, I, it's not so much the joke itself, but the, uh, the ones he did on the, um, Bumping Mike show on Netflix, not to give a shout out, but uh, they were so great because the way he the way he performs them, like no one could ever do that. Like um, you know the one with the um, uh, you know in and out and in. And oh out. Yes, yes. Could you do one for Gilbert? Is really a master joke teller. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a guy gets uh, uh, a report. His grandfather just died. So uh, he's standing next to his grandmother at the funeral, and he goes, how did Grandpa die? And she says, he died during sex. And he goes, but, but he was 95, and you're 93. Sex is dangerous. She said, not the way we do it. We do it according to the church bells. Ding, he slid it in. Dong, he slid it out. Ding, he slid it in. Dong, he slid it out. And he goes, well, that sounds safe. She goes, it certainly was. And he'd be alive today if it wasn't for that fucking ice cream truck. <laughs> it's 
See, it's classic. Oh, that's fucking perfect. <laughs> what I also like is that Gilbert has like opened up a door to how exciting old people are. You know? <laughs> Every joke, it's always an old rabbi, an old somebody, an old sweater, an old something. <laughs> what do you think, Davey? Do I think that one's, yeah, I think that's ready to go. All right, you guys ready to try this? Oh. Here, I'll plate it up for you. Guys, this is going to be fucking fantastic. Well, do you like ketchup with your fries, Gilbert? What? Does it I, need it? I, what? <laughs> Oh, should we put them in the one more time? Yeah, those fries cooked at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going back in. We're going back yeah. in. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. There you go. Easy. No, they're just taking a bath. <laughs> we'll stir them around. Jokes like that, I called, I, this, is, this is the thing that changed everything. I called Stanhope one night. I was like, what are you doing? He said, uh, I'm, I'm having a vodka and great, uh, vodka and, uh, uh, grapefruit juice, and I'm just thinking of goofs. I go, what do you mean? He goes, well, I don't know. He goes, you know, I gotta be as funny as those guys that wrote knock-knock jokes, so I'm just trying to write a knock-knock joke. And oh, I dug? Yeah, and I went, it just blew my mind. I was like, yeah, I could write a fucking knock-knock joke. They're I'm hard, like, yeah. They're hard as shit. Yeah, they really are. They really are. How, what, like, that's the hardest part about stand-up, and I think that's why so many people stole your cadence, was like, no one figured out, no one, you don't know how to write a joke until you watch someone else write it, and you go, oh, that works. Let me try to do it that way. And then one day you have to find your voice and you're like, oh, that's, oh, well, the whole time I was doing Dane Cook. A lot of people did Dane Cook back right. in the day. Dane's but, a great performer. And like, uh, that's another thing is like performance and material. You like, you know, sometimes like I always felt that like, you know, my writing was way ahead of my performance. And then it would be like the other one's like, I got to step up my writing because I'm performing better. But now I feel like I'm in, I'm in the zone. Like I really do enjoy what I do, especially when I get to talk to other comics. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like I was Jeff so drunk, and I would have definitely got on stage with you. Oh, I was honestly, so fucking drunk last night. That's totally fine, but uh, I mean, like, you know, people you look up to and, like, the new guys, too, you guys are, like, I think it's a great time, you know, it's a lot of fun. Unfortunately, there's a lot of filter, you know, but yeah. it's, still a, it's still a good time for comedy, you know? Is this bigger than it was in the boom in the 80s right now? Oh, I lose track of it. I know in the How about 80s. in the 1880s during the gold rush? <laughs> when, you were, when you were riding a pack mule up to the Klondike. You were a pack mule up to the Klondike. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. There you go. All right. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. These are starting to cook a little bit more. Do it. Not bad, huh? I think these are twice fried. Remember we talked about that earlier? Twice fried. Twice fried. Wait, tell me about your podcast. Gilbert Gottfried's amazing, colossal podcast. Nice. And yeah, we've had on Dick Van Dyke, Carl Reiner, Bruce Stern. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just gonna go smoke. Go ahead, okay. keep going. He had all the classics, all the all the real. Yeah, two of the monkeys, two of the cat women. <laughs> <laughs> two of the monkeys, two of the cat women. <laughs> what was uh, what was Dick Van Dyke like? He was great. Yeah? He's ridiculous. And how old he, is he? Yeah, he's in his 90s. Shut and up. He, he See, like, you can never quit. Yeah. He he went, I mean, I didn't see it, but I heard in, <laughs> in uh, what's that remake they did? Uh, uh, Mary, Mary Poppins. Poppins. Yeah. That he dances. In that. He danced in yeah. it? Yeah. I heard he's the new replacement on Empire. <laughs> <laughs> he's taking Take, over Justice Take some of the mean out of it. <laughs> 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 are these these are these done, Dave? No. God damn it. Well, I don't know how you like your fries. I mean, you really don't, don't like like them crispy. They, they they don't have any color to them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's what you're supposed to do it these days. <laughs> <laughs> a statement, huh? Make a statement. But I like how you kept the skin on. I like that. That's yeah. a steak fry, my friend. Yeah. There you oh, go. That's oh. a good eating. Yeah. What's your favorite meal to eat? <clears throat> If you could eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, no, that's God, a great that one. would be, that would get disgusting, wouldn't it? Wouldn't no, you get nauseous? No, 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 no. Do you feel like your diet has been like totally um, sabotaged by club food, like club food oh, all the time? Oh, I order hot wings with every meal. Yeah, there you go. Every meal because I know yeah. you can trust hot wings at a club, mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, I'll just take the hot wings, and now I get used to it, and I feel like it's part of my build up to dinner. <laughs> hot wings and the salmon. If I don't like salmon, at least I have the hot wings. You know, that's my the other thing is like, you know what I broke me is when you go to a club, sometimes you can order a couple things. And now I go to dinner, I start ordering a couple things. And my wife's like, what are you getting that for? I go, like oh. weird, like combinations? Yeah, yeah. I Here's go, one. 
Eggs and soup. What do you Ooh, think? I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love an egg and soup. Oh, really? Oh, hell It's called yeah. matzo ball soup. <laughs> okay, best Jewish dish ever made. Ever made? Best Jewish dish. I like kasha varnishka. What? what? Yeah. <laughs> That's like, it's like grains and noodles, and they put a gravy on it. Really? Really? Yeah. Matzo ball soup is, is one is. Oh, yes. That's what we favorite. should be making more ethnic fare. Than we were going to make matzo ball soup for this, but we thought it was too on the nose. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it was really hard. No really. offense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. When you quit drinking, food is all you have, honestly. It's like... When we go out, like Artie Lang and Russ Maneev and my friend Dave Jessica, we'll go out and have these gigantic meals for like somebody's birthday, you know, because we're all single and shit like yeah. that. And it's like, we can never stop eating. We cannot get enough food. Oh. And when I'm on the road with Jeff, we also, that's like the big thing is after the show, especially in the casino where they have all those crazy, like, you know, whoa, I didn't know uh, this guy had his own steakhouse. That's yeah. when you know you made it, when you have your own burnt steaks. Ooh, I would have a beer garden that did hot wings and pizza. Really? Uh huh. Hot wings and sort of and allowed marijuana. Beer garden, so it's open air. Everyone can smoke. I'd have amazing hot wings, and then every now and then I'd sprinkle something in, like ribs. But would you ever drop by and do your classic fish and chips for everyone? <laughs> 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 hey, everyone, got three hours? <laughs> I think these fries have to be done. This is the longest fucking to be. episode ever. <laughs> All right, you ready? Does anyone yes. remember Arthur Treacher's Fish and Chips? Yes. Yes. Wait, who's that? That was before Popeyes. He was he <laughs> was the sidekick of Merv Griffin. <laughs> and then he opened a chain of restaurants, yep. fast food restaurants. I didn't know that was his story. I thought that was just like a name they had. No, that no, really was a man? he was a real, he was like an actor in the old movies. <laughs> and then he was a sidekick of Merv Griffin. And then he opened a chain of restaurants. Was Merv Griffin gay? Ah, uh, no, no, he's a real <laughs> pussy hound. <laughs> well, well, it depends what show you're talking about. <laughs> On Tattletale, <laughs> he, that guy that like, could not not hit, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. He created uh, Wheel of Fortune. Uh, wait, for real? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Uh, what's the other ones? Oh, I, I, he had a bunch he of He had, like, shows. all these, uh, you know, just, like, these amazing shows. Uh, this is what I was thinking. It was, uh, like, you know, like, afternoon television yeah. used to be, like, way cooler. You ever watch these old, like, um, like uh, what you call dinosaurs? And it's, like, Burt Reynolds, of course. Oh, yeah. Evil Knievel. And then, like, General Westmoreland. Like, just, like, crazy, like, lineups. Yeah. Like, uh, Woody Allen was on a, a bunch. And it was like, that was, like, afternoon. Like, that was, like, for people at home, you know? Yeah. And there's nothing like that now. No, know? it's not. It's uh, not that not <coughs> shit on it, but it's, like, it seems like everything's super digestible in a in a Instagram clip. And it's, yeah, it's got to be you want. pie in the face or, yeah. uh, you know, oh, I put on a dress. You know, it's nothing's, like, those great old interviews. You ever see the one with uh, Burt Reynolds? And the guy from uh, where they threw the pies in the oh, faces. Oh, yes. And Burt Reynolds trying yes. to knock him unconscious. Yeah, that was scary. That was fucking, I always <laughs> wanted to meet Burt Reynolds. Yeah. I guess I missed that. And Norm's impression of him is dead on. That was so cool. Right? That scene? I brought it back around to impressions. Who's the, who is the best on that when you were on SNL? Who's the best, like the most? Jay is really good at impressions. Like, I think Jay never really got his due because he, he was, so hungry, so funny, so like fast, and like um, I know so over there young. it's like very competitive and kind of political, I guess you could say. But Jay like definitely was so good. Like he had his impressions, and he's the kind of guy like where like he could see the movie and then he can immediately just start doing characters from the movie, and he would ad nausea like guys now like you know it's like hey let me do the entire Godfather Part Two, you know, yeah. and they'll just do like that kind of thing. So uh, what's his name is also great, um, Artie Lang. I think Artie, you know, people know him now like for his off you know, like offstage stuff, yeah. but like super funny. Also really, really smart. Great on the mic. We all know that from Hilarious, Stern to whatever, yeah. but like his impressions are really, really good. Like he really? can do like, you know, like you remember the scene where Sonny did, you know, he's just really good that way. So he's an impression guy. Um, I, I can't think do that's it. lost on the new generation is the depth of knowledge that I think all the guys that I came up with that had depth of knowledge they had in movies. Like they would quote, I mean, I remember Jay could quote, uh, Fucking Pope of Greenwich Village front yes. to back. Yeah, yeah. You know? And I, I feel like that those, I don't maybe they just aren't great movies that anyone's quoting anymore. Yeah, no, we would sit in the office and just talk about Platoon all day long, like just oh. every character. They push me. 
They pushed me hard. Yeah. <laughs> they took my finger. Did that cunt leave you? <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys ready to try this? Yeah. All right. Well, you, I'll give everyone a little. You little gotta sip. smack him around a little. <laughs> you grab your jacket. You take. You don't say goodbye yeah. to nobody. Oh Here we go. Uh, ooh, these are heavy. <laughs> There's a lot of oil in there, Gilbert. Oh boy. <laughs> Now, do we have a fork or do we all share? <laughs> Here you go, Dave. Oh, oh, I gotta have the homemade. Oh, that's the tartar sauce? Yeah, the tartar sauce. Here, here, here. We'll clean this area up so we can. Homemade fish and chips. Thanks for having us on your show. No, hey, thank you guys. You guys are literally two of my fucking favorite comics alive. And I can't wait to take, try this. Uh, you guys have given oh, me so much. Oh, it looks much... great, buddy. <laughs> Does it? I like how you left the tag on the fish. <laughs> Do we have any ketchup? Eat up, it's $9.99 a pound. <laughs> Let's see if the fish looks... Yeah, let's get that tartar sauce on there. There's no knife in there, is All there? All right, easy. Okay, oh. <laughs> well, I'm going to need a steak knife <laughs> with it. I might. <laughs> that was a burnt good. The tartar sauce is surprisingly good. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, old modeling habits. Is the bathroom close? I might have to. You, know. <laughs> you like it? He's eating like they do in TV shows. Whoa. They could do two <laughs> things. They either they prepare it for an that hour. That was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Any more? Oh, we only did three? Darn. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, good stuff. And fries aren't bad. Catch up, guys. <laughs> Last guy has to do the dishes. <laughs> the tartar sauce is really good. Wow. Yeah, I made it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm always looking for a way to end an episode. Yeah. Like a, this could have been ended an hour ago. I think, it's a, I think every episode should end with the stomach pumping. <laughs> stomach pumping? <laughs> with an EMT rushing in. <laughs> that sounds like a good way to end an episode. <laughs> Gilbert, where can everyone find your podcast? Um. Oh, Christ. <laughs> uh, GilbertGottfried.com. I think something podcast. Oh, Christ. If my wife would know. Do you know where we can find Gilbert's podcast? And GilbertPodcast.com. GilbertPodcast.com. That's hard and, to remember. And I'm on Cameo also. Whoa. Are you really? Yeah. Oh, no way. Are you Cameo. serious? Cameo.com. How much? Uh, uh, Dad, well, you know, hey, at any price. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any ones you'll say no to on Cameo? Yeah, what was the weirdest request? Sorry. Um... It, it well, I I remember I congratulated someone on a sex change operation. Oh, that was the go. weirdest. <laughs> but other than that, you know how that what's his name Brett Farver? Uh, Brett Farver. He got in trouble because a white supremacist group secretly gave him like key words that oh, they. Oh, see. Are you serious? Yeah. See that in my see, that, that wouldn't yeah. stop me. I, if, they, if they're willing to pay, I'll do messages for the Taliban. <laughs> oh, that's good. Dear soldiers, I'm Gilbert Godfrey. We have a calling. The infidels are killing our women. <laughs> that's right. Who calls their mom Caliphate? <laughs> Is her name really Caliph? <laughs> Get to America. <laughs> and uh, I'll be on tour with uh, Jeff, of course. we got some great gigs coming up. And uh, you're always welcome on our stage. We'd love to have For you. For real? Yeah, definitely. hundred fucking percent. It would be a real treat to have you up there. Dude, with I went on stage with you in Vegas, and it's the hardest I've ever fucking laughed. It'll be great. So anytime you're around, you're always invited, all of you guys. And uh, for the fans out there, Bumping Mics, we will be on tour. The next big one is... Uh, Bethlehem, PA, and Brigada, they're coming up in May. And then go to my site, davidtell.com. You can see my gigs. I also go out there alone. And, dude, honestly, I'm so proud of you and Tom. Yeah. But you especially, because this is this is a lot of fun. Oh, dude, I appreciate it. This means a great... You have no idea this means a great deal for me, you guys, hanging out with me like this. Yeah, and, um, you know, there was no need for a meal. We could have ordered in. 
Yeah. <laughs> should have just gone fucking <laughs> back. If we come back, we switched up. Yeah, we insist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we use a little grub hub, something like that. I just hope I didn't get you sick, Gilbert. <laughs> I'm wrapping it to go home. Oh, yeah. for real? Are those fries too dumb for you, or is that what it is? No, the fries are great. They're just a little chewy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I soaked them in cold water long enough. <laughs> well, guys, hey, thank you very much. I thank appreciate you. it. Thank you, Bert. Awesome. Something's burning. This episode was brought to you by The Machine.